Rating, plus 179 plus X. Photo of SCP-332 taken before Incident 332A. The identity of the man standing at the front of the picture is unknown. Item hash, SCP-332. Object class, Euclid Ketter. Special Containment Procedures. Observation Station 55B has been constructed to monitor and study SCP-332. Fence is designed to contain SCP-332's previously stationary effect have been demolished and replaced by a research station dedicated to observing SCP-332 in its dormant state. Foundation agents have been deployed to major population centers and tourist destinations to identify and respond to SCP-332 manifestations. In the event that local Foundation agents are unable to enact containment, the nearest available mobile task force will be deployed. When SCP-332 enters its active state, all site personnel are to monitor the length and intensity of the sound produced by SCP-332 from soundproofed observation areas until the active state ceases. Any affected civilians are to be detained indefinitely under the cover of an infectious disease. Outbreak SCP-1A33 has been placed under constant observation in case of any alterations. Description SCP-332 is the class of 1976 Kirk Lawnwood High School Marching Band. Located in the town of Redacted, the band is composed of 30 humanoids. Known as SCP-332-1 through-30. All 30 instances of SCP-332 wear 1976 band uniforms and play instruments manufactured before 1976. The words, Syncope Symphony, have been engraved into each instrument. Individuals with an SCP-332 do not display normal human behavior, and will stand at attention in the center of the former Kirk Lawnwood High School football field. Their last manifestation location when not in an active state. Occasionally, individual instances of SCP-332 have been known to suddenly begin struggling with an unseen force before returning to their normal stance. The reason for this behavior is unknown. No instance of SCP-332 has ever attempted to communicate with Foundation personnel. Instances of SCP-332 do not appear to feel hunger, pain, or suffer from exposure to the elements, and were observed to stand in the same location for over 30 years. Once every 48 hours, SCP-332 will enter an active state. All instances will disappear and instantaneously reappear at another human population center. SCP-332 appears to favor major tourist attractions and event facilities which frequently host marching bands. SCP-332 will also emit sound if any person enters the area of exclusion, or if a noise between 15 and 80. OOOHC is made within this zone. While active, SCP-332s will continuously march around the perimeter of the area it has appeared in for a period between 15 and 45 minutes. Following this, SCP-332 will the largest nearby concentration of human subjects and play a music piece. Pieces played by SCP-332 vary, but it primarily consists of marching band arrangements of popular songs from 1967 to 1976. Sounds produced by SCP-332 have a consistent volume throughout the active zone, with the sound fading abruptly outside of that zone. If a subject is able to hear the music played by SCP-332, they will attempt to obtain any instrument near them and join SCP-332 in playing. Subjects affected in this manner, hereafter known as SCP-332-B, will report high amounts of anxiety if unable to obtain a musical instrument within 10 minutes of coming under SCP-332's effect. If they are unable to join SCP-332 within 10 minutes, 
They will walk with the band and begin miming an instrument as they march with the band, and will attempt to replicate the sound being produced by SCP-332 with their voice. Instances of SCP-332-B who join with SCP-332 will march and play until they pass out from exhaustion or hunger, at which point they will be trampled by other instances of SCP-332-B and SCP-332. For every 10 SCP-332-B instances who join SCP-332, the area of effect will increase by 300 meters. This radius of effect will expand until all instances of SCP-332-B are terminated or incapacitated, at which point SCP-332's active state will immediately cease. SCP-332 was contained following Incident 332-A, the incident during which SCP-332 was initially activated between the point from when it activated to being disabled by Foundation agents. Incident 332A resulted in the deaths of 40% of Kirk Lawnwood High School's staff and students. The school was closed down under the pretense of fire damage, with students, locals, and survivors being issued Class B amnesiacs. Successful containment for SCP-332 was achieved on July 19, 1976, with a classification of Euclid. Addendum 332b. Transcript of Incident 332a. During initial cleanup operations following SCP-332's containment, a 16mm camera was discovered outside what would have been the first story window of Kirk Lawnwood High School. The transcript of this video, although highly corrupted, is the only record of Incident 332A. Less than begin log greater than. Less than end log greater than. Less than zero. Oh oh oh. Ten greater than the camera is pointed at a large window. Believed to be in the school's front office. Several members of SCP-332 can be seen preparing their instruments on the field. There is no sound. Less than zero, ten to one, thirty-four greater than the camera swings towards unidentified woman number one. It is believed that the cameraman is speaking to her, although no sound can be heard. One of SCP-332's clarinet players can be seen walking by in the background. Less than one, thirty-four to four, fifty-five greater than section of the tape is damaged. No identifiable content present. Less than four. 55 to 5, oh oh greater than picture and sound briefly become clear, and a voice believed to belong to unidentified woman number one remarks about one band member's outfit, having an unusual attribute, although what was unusual about it is not heard, less than 5, oh oh, 6, oh 02 greater than static, less than 6, oh 02, 8, 04 greater than sound and picture return with greatly improved quality. With the cameraman chatting with unidentified woman number one. Unidentified woman number two is heard off screen at 7. 09. Referencing a band equipment supplier known as Syncope Symphony and remarking that she was unable to find it with the information that was provided to her. Unidentified man number one. Also in the background claims that he will investigate it at a later date. Less than 8, 04, 16, 22 greater than sound cuts out again. Camera is pointed out to the field as SCP-332 begins to perform. At the 11, 00 mark, several persons in the audience begin to exhibit signs of distress. At the 11, 30 minute mark, the camera is violently jerked away from the floor and dropped. Several persons, including the cameraman and unidentified woman number two, are seen to move around the office in a state of distress. At the 11.45 mark, SCP-332 enters an active state. Unidentified woman number one is seen to exit the office to go outside at the 16.00 mark, less than 16, 22 to 18, 45 greater than static less than 18, 45 to 19, 00 greater than the camera is picked up and pans around the room. 
several deceased persons are visible in frame, including the original cameraman. The camera is briefly pointed out the window, where SCP-332 can be seen playing. The tape ends at the 19.00 mark. Addendum. On the 2nd of November 2016, SCP-332 suddenly vanished from its containment area. At the same time, a major anomalous incident was noted to be in progress at a sports facility in South Florida. SCP-332 was thought to be recontained following this incident. However, every 48 hours it has reappeared in a new location. The Foundation is currently assessing the situation and any additional assets which can be allocated to continue containment.